Hello and welcome to the lecture, Religions in the USA or Religions in the United States. My name is Mr. Sultan and this is being recorded on behalf of the AP Human Geography class at Abraham Lincoln High School in, Calif in San Francisco, California. So throughout this lecture we are going to take a look at uh, religious diffusion and distribution in the United States and look at a few maps. Please follow along and pause where you need to. Okay, so the first question is, how much of this map do you know? This is a basic map that shows um, overall religious patterns uh, in the United States. And before I label the map for you, just take a few seconds to look and see if there's any religions on here that you can identify without looking. Okay, so now we'll label that map together. We're going to start here on the West Coast, and the West Coast is mixed. There's uh, quite a few different religions, and no single religion dominates. And we're going to move here to the um, area centered around Utah, which is um, predominantly Mormon. And then the upper Midwest, including uh, Minnesota, Wisconsin, North and South Dakota, which is a Lutheran area. The uh, Midlands, which is also mixed, uh, similar to the West Coast, in, the, in that no one religion or uh, sect is uh, predominant. Down in the southwest, uh, the area near the border with Mexico, including New Mexico and Arizona and southern Texas, is predominantly Spanish Catholic. And the influence there, of course, is uh, migration from Mexico and uh, the rest of Latin America. Here in the southern United States, this is predominantly Southern Baptist. The tip of Louisiana is French Catholic, and that dates back to an early settlement um, by the French uh, prior to it becoming uh, territory of the United States. Here the peninsular Florida is also mixed. New England, uh, including much of the original 13 colonies, is now predominantly Catholic. The area centered around Massachusetts, Vermont, New Hampshire, Connecticut, Delaware, etc. And there's a pocket of Lutherans here uh, around Pennsylvania. So the next question is, what are the inaccuracies of this map? What does this map get wrong? So even though this map is quite useful for showing us the overall distribution of religion in the United States, this map is not 100% accurate. As we know from looking at previous maps, this map overgeneralizes. So that's the first thing that this map gets wrong and makes inaccurate. It's an overgeneralization of religious distribution. This map does not show small areas within each region where other religions dominate, and we know from uh, studying further that there's quite a, few, quite a few more religions in the United States besides the ones listed, and um, so we can see that this is a demonstration of just an overgeneralization of the map. This map also does not show areas where the density of adherence is highest, so we don't really know within each of the religions or sects that is listed on the map how closely people are practicing the religion or how many adherents there are percentage-wise. This map does also does not show diversity or variation in how the religion is practiced within a denomination and it, there may be quite a bit of regional diversity in how religion is uh, actually put into practice on the ground and this map does not reveal that. Uh, this map does also not show religious diversity within any one area so there may be a predominant religion that's 50% uh, or more, but there may be uh, significant minority religions that are not listed on this map. So here's another map of religion in the USA, but this does not show us what religion people practice. Instead, this shows us religious adherence as a percentage of all residents as of the year 2000. So we can see many different patterns have arisen on this map as compared to the other one. We, it does not specify what religion or sect people are practicing, but we can see some pretty large patterns that develop. So the areas of the country with extremely high um, percentage of adherence, as we can see moving from west to east, are you know, the area around Utah, and then the area in the upper Midwest uh, around North Dakota, uh, southern Minnesota, and South Dakota, and then the Panhandle area in Texas. So. Those are three areas that have extremely high um, percentage of all residents actually being religious adherents. We're going to move on to the next part of the question. For this next part of the question, 
we're going to look at three specific religions and identify and explain two factors that have influenced the distribution of these religions shown on the map. So obviously we're going to have to identify A, B, and C, and if you reference back earlier, A are the Mormons, B are Lutherans, and C are Southern Baptists. So let's break these down one by one. For each of the three, A, B, C, it comes down to two major factors. The first factor is the original migration of people of that sect or religion into that area. And then the second factor is a lack of in-migration by other subsequent groups. Let's take each one one by one. We'll start with the Mormons. Mormonism is a religion, very American, that was founded by Joseph Smith in New York State around 1830. This was part of a general movement that was going on in this part of the country at the time, which was called the Second Great Awakening. So there's many, many religious movements that were started at this time, but Mormonism is the one that has really um, stayed around up until the present day. So Joseph Smith had a revelation where an angel visited him, and he received um, golden plates, and that's pictured here in this image. So he received the golden plates, uh, which later he transcribed, and they, these became the Book of Mormon, upon which the Mormon religion is based, in addition to the Old and New Testaments of the Bible. The Mormon religion is also called the Church of Latter-day Saints. So not long after the founding of this religion, uh, Joseph Smith and his followers uh, fled from the eastern United States to Illinois, uh, because they were persecuted for their beliefs. Again, in Illinois, they faced persecution, and Joseph Smith was actually murdered by a mob um, of angry um, uh, angry citizens who were upset with the Mormons and the way that they practiced their religion. And so um, his successor, Brigham Young, fled with the rest of the, the um, followers out to Utah, and they established their community around Salt Lake City in Utah in the mid-1800s. The Mormons flourished in Utah and actually spread out to the other um, regions around Utah, including southern Idaho and eastern Nevada and northern um, Arizona. And since Utah is a rural area, it did not attract large numbers of international immigrants subsequently. So there have been really no major in-migrations of other groups, and that's why this region remains predominantly Mormon to this day. Okay, so the next religion we're going to look at are the Lutherans. So Lutheranism, as we can see on this map, really spread throughout Germany and Scandinavia after the um, Reformation, the Protestant Reformation in the 1500s. And Lutheranism is really rooted in the teachings of Martin Luther. So it's a Protestant sect rooted in the teachings of Martin Luther with its hearth really around Germany and Scandinavia. Here's a picture of a Lutheran, typical Lutheran church uh, as it looks in the upper Midwest around Minnesota. So the Lutherans uh, were really, the Lutherans in the United States are German and Scandinavian immigrants who migrated in large, large numbers to the Midwest in the mid-1800s. They settled the Midwest as farmers and they followed kinship links and eventually creating a migration wave and really settling that area. So much like Utah, the upper Midwest is a rural area and it does not attract a large number of international immigrants. So really there have been no major subsequent migrations of other groups and thus the area remains predominantly Lutheran to this day. Finally, we're going to take a look at the Southern Baptists. So the practice of baptizing goes uh, back and actually predates Jesus Christ. And um, as we know from looking at the New Testament, uh, Jesus himself was baptized. And this is a picture of that. But the Baptist sect of Christianity is a Protestant sect that developed in England in the 1600s. And it really emphasized baptism by choice and not baptizing babies. Um, and also baptism by full immersion in water as opposed to just sprinkling. So the Baptists, Bapt, uh, Baptist sect is really uh, r was really spread to the um, 
North American continent by some of the earliest English colonists who were escaping persecution uh, by the Church of England, and they settled into the South. Um, Southern Baptist religion developed as the original religion in many of small towns in the South, and it really thrived there because it appealed to African Americans, even during the times of slavery, when other religious denominations would not. Again, much like the Midwest and Utah, the South is a rural area and does not attract, attract a large number of international migrants, so there have been no major subsequent immigration waves. So as we can see, uh, comparing and contrasting these three uh, religions, the, the two major reasons for why they, they dominate their areas are the original migration combined with a lack of in migration by other groups. So we have the Mormons located around Utah. We have the Lutherans located in the upper Midwest centered around Minnesota. And we have the Southern Baptists. So this concludes the lecture. I hope it's been informative. Thank you very much for listening. Again, this is Leon Sultan for AP Human Geography, Lincoln High School, San Francisco, California.